Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 Mod Reviews. Today we're going to try something a little bit different. Rather than looking at a new release, we're actually going to go back and kind of look at an old release that uh, I discovered recently that I somehow didn't know about. So today we're looking at Woody's Wasteland stuff by Woodylicious. This mod adds a ton of cool new settlement items that fit perfectly into the game. It has some expansion on the vanilla shack stuff as well as some completely new things that just should have been in the game in the first place. I mean, I'm kind of astonished that they weren't. Um, I've seen a lot of people try to do plumbing and stuff in the game, and this mod includes it as just a natural part of the mod. And as a matter of fact, the entire shack that you see in front of you right now is made entirely out of Woody's Wasteland stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some footage of every item in the mod, and we'll call it that. So yeah, guys, enjoy the video. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and run through all of the items in the Woody's Workshop stuff mod, and... I'm really going to try to sell you on this mod. There's just some incredible stuff that I've never seen in any other workshop mods, so we're just going to get right into it. So in the uh, structure section, you will now have the Woody's Wasteland stuff building options. First of all, for buildings, we have doors, walls, floors, roofs, fireplaces, and miscellaneous. So for doors, we have some awesome new door options. We have this kind of chicken wire door, this very great shack door, which there isn't really in the base game. You know, you have your shack buildings, but they have like stripped doors just out of <laughs> nearby buildings, which makes sense. But for somebody who's making their settlement out of complete scrap, this makes a little more sense. That said, there's also this metal scrap door, which has a stop sign and <laughs> some caution signs on it. And finally, these shack saloon doors, which would be really cool for like a saloon bar if you're doing the uh, dust bowl overhaul and you're trying to make it feel more like New Vegas. For walls, we have some single wide doorways, some single wide shack walls, windows, which why were there no windows in the base game? We will never know. Some porch with like chicken wire, some more window options and some even more window options. For floors, we have some new alternate textures for the wood floors just so you can shake things up a bit, which is great. And there are actually some different downloadable wood options for floors on the mod page. I really like this one here with the stone foundation. And then another shack flooring, which uses different supports than the vanilla one. These are actually different than the ones you're used to seeing. Another stone foundation and some more floors. Nothing too crazy yet, but the roofs are where things start to get really cool. So we have some very thin, flat roofs. An angled, single-wide roof, which is the first time we've seen that, I think, in any mod. At least that I know of. And then my favorite part of this, an overhang roof. And then that's a center one. This is on the left. And then these ones are on the right. So what this means is if you look at over here, it overhangs, which a problem I have with a lot of settlement items, mods included, is the roofs don't overhang. The closest you get to that in vanilla is the barn and wasteland workshop pack. But yeah, this looks incredible. The, the roofs are so good in this mod. And then next is Stone Fireplace. The only mod that you can get a really, really good fireplace like this in is, is in the Cabin in the Woods mod, which features the log cabin stuff. But this will allow you to have a fireplace inside of your wooden shack, which is really cool. And that includes the bottom extension, which you can use if you're on a raised platform to extend the fireplace like so. And then also the top extensions with the end cap that actually has animated smoke. And then there's also snapping points on the inside here where you can put a little hanging pot to cook things with, which is pretty neat. And finally, in the miscellaneous section, we have some spacers for if you have used the second floor uh, floor pieces. Some really cool angled stairs, which I really like to get some tight bends. Normally it would take you like four or five pieces to make this, but this has it all inclusive, <coughs> as well as some railings for said pieces. Some balcony supports for single wide structures, which is awesome. And then a bunch of new wooden bridges, which are very, very neat. Some railings, some support beams, stairs, and then railings for those stairs. And that's all of the building section. Next for decorations, we have the new fireplace option, which is just incredible. So first you would place your fireplace down right here. There's also a sweet decorative little set of logs. And then you can start doing your smokestacks. And if you needed to, you could have it attached to the wall for immersiveness or you can use some of these angled pieces here eh. and then of course there's an end cap which has animated smoke as well for bucket planters we have the bucket planter itself which you can see hanging there 
and then a bunch of plants that will fit inside of the planter. We have curtains, which actually snap to the windows that are featured in this mod, but you can obviously free place them on any windows you'd like from other mods. We have some hanging clothing. First is the hanger, and then you can snap clothing to it, which is really, really cool. And then some shoes that you could put down in your settlement, maybe by the door. Really cool stuff. Chopped wood, a bunch of chopped wood. And my favorite part of this is the stump where you can snap an ax to it, or you can just place the wood down and they all snap together. Really cool for like a log cabin aesthetic. And then another support beam for your shack that can be snapped to walls however you wish. We have some shelf clutter which can be snapped into the new shelves that are added with this mod. Next we have the exterior home decor which include these trellises, a little awning that you can place over your door which is pretty neat, there we go, or over your windows. We have shutters for the windows which are just awesome that you can even do that. We have window boxes that will snap outside of your windows. For miscellaneous decorations, we have a bucket of milk, some butter churn, a fish tank, which is animated with fish, which is really, really cool. You can see them swimming around there. We have a milk can, a bird cage with a pet gull in it, and then a hanging one as well. Some razor grain. You can use all of this stuff right here too, the butter churn, the razor grain, all the milk stuff next to a Brahmin to really sell the immersiveness. And then some snap points for the wheelbarrow, which is in the next section. So if we were to grab the wheelbarrow here, sorry, we're going to go back. You can snap in cement or some fruits or some dirt. And finally, a very, very cool tab, which I'm so glad this exists in a mod, the construction related items. This makes it look like your settlement is currently under construction. It includes wall frames that are currently being built that can snap together that people aren't living in yet, but are under construction, as well as some roof frames, some stacked lumber that they're using to make the house, some on a table, some leaning pieces of plywood, two cement mixers that are improvised. This one is static, and this one is animated, so it actually spins there, and you can see. It has a cool little animation playing. A little hanging pouch of nails for whoever's working, and then a little planning station too which is super super cool and that's just the buildings and decorations we still got some more to get through so for electrical stuff we have two new generators that are placed in water they are water wheels of course we have some hanging lights both of which are lanterns with candles in them and then some fuse boxes for furniture we have some all new armoires that you can hang the clothing in from earlier as well as some doors that you can place on we have some bathroom furniture, which is way better than the vanilla stuff because it looks just a little bit more immersive if you're in an outdoor shacky place like this. We have a barrel sink, the galvanized bathtub, and the old toilet. And then for kitchen, there's a few kitchen textures you can download off the mod page, but this one here just has some snapping cabinets that you can hook together. Oop, here we go. And then even a sink that you can hook onto that. And then doors that you can snap to them as well. For water and plumbing, we have a windmill that actually produces water, as well as some water storage with this here animated water heater with some steam coming out the top, a water tower and a stand for that water tower. And finally, plumbing. Glorious plumbing that people, I see people do this in their settlement builds a lot, and this mod adds a ton of really cool plumbing that snaps together with all the fixings and valves, and it's just super immersive, super awesome. Not necessary, but it just adds some, you know, liveliness to your settlement and makes it feel a lot more real. And then finally, we have the defense section where we have some neat turret stands. So these are powered turret stands for your turrets that actually need power hookups, and you can run electricity to them. And there's some double story as well. And here's the top of that one. No, oh, no, never mind. That is a bottom, not a top. So this one is not powered. These two are powered, and it also includes a little power connector. So you can hook it there, run wire to it from here, and then it'll come out this, and you can hook it up to your turret like that. And that is just a really, really cool way to hook up your turrets with power that is nice and neat and concealed 
very neat. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about these throwback Thursday type of videos where we look at older mods. I know that as we get further down the line and we're looking for more content to produce, and as modding kind of dies down, as it does occasionally, it'll be nice to be able to go back to some of these underrated mods from long ago that maybe haven't had a lot of attention in a while, or maybe even mods that have had some serious updates since their release that haven't been covered. So let me know what you think about that idea, guys, in the comments, and any feedback would be great. And that means we are at the end of our video, which of course means it's time for our AMA question of the day. And today that is from user Ryzen Magos. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm probably not. And he asks, are you into any tabletop games? And as a matter of fact, yes, I am. My friends and I like to play Magic the Gathering. We were taking a little bit of a break from it recently because of COVID and such. But when things were normal, we would play Magic the Gathering pretty often, as well as D&D. &D. And recently we've been getting into Battletech, the tabletop version of Mech Warrior which is very, very cool. And when it comes to D&D, we even wrote up our own manual and came up with our own pieces for a Fallout-style D&D. And if you happen to be interested in that, maybe I'll show it off one day. But yeah, tabletop. I love tabletop games. Hard to play them lately, but when I have the chance, tabletop is really, really fun. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you have a question you'd like to ask me or you just want a chance to be featured in a video, drop a question on this video and I will get to it in the next one. And a little heads up, I may be taking a day off from YouTube tomorrow so that I can spend some time working on some bigger video projects that I have for this weekend. That is, unless, of course, there is a big mod release because, you know, I will always be there to cover it as soon as it drops. But if not, I may not upload a video tomorrow. I'm not going away for long. I am just spending more time making sure that the videos coming out this weekend are up to the best quality that they can be. So with that, if you enjoyed what you saw today, drop a like. And if you want to see more and you're not subscribed already, consider subscribing. We've got more Fallout modding content to come. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.